Good morning, YouTubers and Internet Explorers. Before I even get into this video, happy Valentine's Day. I hope that you spent it with someone so special and they gave you some of that, uh... Uh, so in the spirit of Valentine's Day and this chocolate and rose, strawberry, chocolate covered thing of a holiday that we celebrate, I think I should tell you some things that I not only love, but that I hate. And if you hate and you love something, it's called, what did I write? It's called Hatov. I'll put it on the screen right there. Right, right there. There we go. Right in front of me. It's on the screen right here. That's called Hatov. It's hate plus love, and I'm pretty sure I just made the word up myself. So I'm going to tell you some things that I Hatov. And this doesn't mean I love to hate it or I hate to love it. It's like, I enjoy it, but there is also a really big downside that makes me like not enjoy it. I guess I just contradicted myself. I don't know how long this list is gonna be. I'm just excited to share it with you guys. And hopefully this intro wasn't too long like my last few videos have been. Let's dive in Day. <laughs> All right, of course, can't start a list. Uh, number one. Uh, I had told Jeffrey, and if you know who Jeffrey is, he's my little bunny, my little son, my baby boy. He has a place right here in my heart, but I fucking hate that he chews on all my shit. He chews on cords, the carpet. He shits when he, he just does things that just pisses me off. He's like a child. Like he knows that he has a litter box. He knows where his food and water is, but he just flips it over. He just flips his water over. He just poops on the floor. Then he just brings all of his hay and he just puts it all over the carpet. Like I didn't just vacuum. And he's so inconsiderate, but then I look at him and his nose is just like, and I'm like, oh, I hatove you. I actually hatove you guys. Thank you to anyone who's been subscribing or liking. Brandon especially, I know on all of my videos on his Snapchat, I've been seeing him leaving a link where people should swipe up and come to these. Uh, he's even been commenting on stuff. I have told you guys a lot. But I also, I, mm, I hate the people who watch my videos and then like it and then you guys don't subscribe. I mean, my content isn't great yet. Like, give me some time, let me evolve, but you should be here from the beginning. But I understand. I wouldn't want to subscribe to some wacky YouTuber either, but come on, give me a chance. Like, give me a chance. I shaved for this, put on a, a nice shirt. I still have sweatpants on, but I put on a nice shirt, brushed my teeth, I, I fixed my eyebrows. What else could I do? Uh, I had tove mixed drinks for uh, this simple fact. Lately, I've been drinking like tequila with apple juice. Do not at me on that. But it's not that bad like it's kind of like it has like that tingly te tequila taste but then the apple juice boom neutralizes it and then you just get like this nice apple juice taste in your mouth i don't know it's something about it that's terrific but i don't like when people just mix drinks like i don't want orange juice and like vodka or something in one cup together they have to be separated so i can just drink gloat drink gloat like i cannot have it in the same cup that that irks me so much. I hatove money. Sorry, this is gonna get serious for a second. Uh, I obviously want money so I can like keep making YouTube videos and have a nice camera and a nice microphone. By the way, side note on my microphone, look at you guys. This is a dirty mirror. Look at you guys. Got a new Rode mic there, so that's pretty cool. But yeah, like I, I need the money to obviously buy like nice stuff and like have a TV and like feed Jeffrey and feed Caitlin. Say hi, Caitlin. Yeah, and all that kind of stuff. I, like, don't really care about money. But at the same time, I, like, I really care about money. And that's, like, what drives me to do stuff. But I don't know. I, I want to have enough money to do stuff. But I don't know how much enough money is to do stuff. And that's what, like, aggravates me. Let's just get to the next one. And, like, lighten this video up a little bit. I'm, like, getting flustered. I hatove tattoos. Um, obviously, I have some tattoos and everything like that. And I don't know if you guys have seen like the other tattoos on my body, but tattoos are expensive, right? Like going back into the money thing again. Sorry, I said it was gonna lighten up, but I need money to get tattoos. And then when I go get the tattoo, it hurts. And then I'm mad that the tattoo hurts and I don't wanna get another tattoo. And then I see someone else's tattoo and I get a tattoo fever. Like, you know, you get baby fever or something like that. And I get tattoo fever and I want a tattoo again. 
it's so aggravating because it's like after I get it I'm like oh my god this is the best decision I ever made while I'm getting it I'm like this hurts so damn bad I want this to actually be over I'm never gonna get a tattoo again it's like drinking you get drunk you get one hangover you're like I'm never drinking like that again and then you do it next Saturday so that's where I'm at with tattoos right now I had to space for this simple fact it's endless beautiful stars shine glisten die are born we've only seen so little but it's ever expanding so we can't even put an exact number on how much we've truly seen and we'll never truly know what's out there until someone gives us contact back and there has to be something out there and they're not talking to us and that's bullshit so if there's aliens out there and for some reason they can like broadcast youtube fuck you Fuck you, aliens, because you need to talk to us. I want to see aliens or something before I die. That's all I'm asking, because Elon Musk is shooting cars in space. Don't get me wrong, I love Elon, but we need to be, like, knuckling down as, like, a world and finding other life out there, because if I don't see other life in space before I die, I swear to God, I will haunt every single last one of you. I hatove my phone, not for the fact of like, oh, I have an iPhone or I, I like Android more, like whatever, I don't care about that. I, I hatove it for the simple fact that I can connect with anyone in the world at any exact moment. I could send them a Snapchat, a iMessage, I could play them in pool, I could go on Facebook, I could like, I could do literally anything and connect with someone else. But no one picks up the phone, like, no one calls me back, like, People who live in the same state as me, or same city as me, don't even hit me back. They pretend like they didn't see the message. Like, okay, okay. Uh, something else I had told. I had told porn stars. First off, thank you for all your service. In re like actuality, Caitlyn's friends and my friends, obviously everyone has a distinct facial feature. Everyone has a unique face and everything but eventually they're gonna overlap with like porn. And so like, let's say you're watching porn and then like their face kind of looks like the porn stars and it just kind of messes with your mind and makes this huge hodgepodge that you don't like. And I don't like that. I, I want, I don't want that. I wish there was like a filter on there where it's just like, this is what my friends look like. And they just, anyone who looks like that on porn, they just cut them out because I don't want to see that because it's really throwing my game off right now. I'm in here to, to make God cry. Uh, this is a smaller one, but I had told massages. Uh, I obviously enjoy massages. Who doesn't enjoy massages? It's like, who doesn't like pizza, am I right? So I, I like, I enjoy a massage for the fact, of course, it's relaxing and you get to, you know, unwind the stress, blah, blah, blah. But then right after the massage is done, I feel like all the stress enters my body within the next hour. And I feel like I have to go back to the massage. It's like cocaine or something. Like, they give you a little fix and you're like, oh, that's good. Then an hour later, I'm like, I need more. I need that all the time. Yeah. I, I'd sell my family's TV if I could get something like this again. Yeah. Lastly, la <clears throat> my voice just cracked. Lastly, the biggest, biggest thing, the biggest thing I had told are TV shows, especially TV shows that invest me and really like get me thinking about like what if life was like X, Y, or Z or like the whole world and what else I could imagine to see. And then it gets canceled because I need closure really, really bad. And I, I don't like that, especially when it's a TV show and it like it ended not like maybe the last three episodes just weren't aired and they just air on like YouTube or like some online site. No, they like ended second season second episode out of 25 i'm like what am i supposed to do now because now i don't have answers and i don't know what's gonna happen and i would really like just... i know sometimes tv shows come back like futurama did it family guy did it um i know adventure time did it uh i finally like a while back but i like watched all the regular shows and all that kind of stuff um but just like shows like that where like they really invest you in the characters and you have like character traits and you can tell them apart and it's like an interesting show and it has an interesting theme and then they just cancel it. And then there's no forum on why they canceled it. There's no like theory on why, like, how the show would have ended. It's just 
gone, gone forever, just like my happiness at that point. So thank you, TV shows. In conclusion to this video, those are the things that I, Hatov, hate slash love. Please, by all means, go in the comment sections. Let me know what you hate and love or whatever else. Or if you just love things or if you don't hate anything, because hate is a strong word, but I really, really, really don't like you. <laughs> you remember that song, right? Right. Um, so I'm not going to prolong this video anymore. How would you drop a like on this video and then comment dislike because then you can hato me also. So that's pretty cool. Uh, I think that's all I really got to say. Uh, I'll see you guys in the next video. Happy Valentine's Day. Spend it with someone you care about. Gotta put a little bit of little pimp in it. Gotta put a little bit of little pimp in it. Gotta put a little bit of little pimp in it. Gotta put a little bit of little pimp in it. Well, if you guys um, want this beat, definitely go to Brandon's YouTube. I'm not giving nobody. Okay, well, I just meant it as in, like, you should be checked out. No! You don't want to be checked out? No! No, I'm kidding. <laughs> I don't care. Well, uh, I guess uh, for the exception of his beats, you should definitely check out his SoundCloud. I have a link in the description. Check out his YouTube channel. Obviously, all his music is there also. Uh, really look into it. Really good for You have a YouTube channel? I don't have it. I thought you did. No, I have no. You have like a YouTube though, right? I guess, but there's nothing on it. So just SoundCloud. It's just for me to comment on videos. Oh, that... like the one you're watching now. <laughs> oh, Ooh, good save. Good save. it's just it's a back and forth dynamic in this good room. Save. Okay. Good save. Um. Well, uh, check out Brandon let's, SoundCloud, let's, like I said, maybe we should and. Do that again. Oh, no, we're not. We're not doing it again. We're, we're not doing that. No, again? Okay. no. This is this. This is the secondary outro, like a post credit scene. So like, I'm gonna be like, and then check out his like SoundCloud in a second. Thanks for watching. And then the beat starts playing, and then it goes like, new, 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 and fades to black. You know what? Fuck it. I'm not doing any of that.